Now weather with meteorologist Matt Hefner, certified by Weather 8 for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks, seven years in a row. What a way to kick off a week where we finally are getting those cooler temperatures to arrive here in the Ozarks. They felt so nice, especially after that long week of just continuous hot, hot, hot weather to finally get some relief that's coming into the Ozarks. Taking a look at the hy V weather cam, looking towards downtown Springfield. What an incredible day to get out. Hopefully you got a chance to get out and enjoy this weather some and because it's already cooling off temperatures right now. 69, we're already below 70 degrees and not only are those temperatures cooler, the dew points at 59. When we're dealing with weather all of last week, those dew points, they wanted to stay in those mid to upper 70s. If you're not familiar with how dew point works, I'll pull up the scale for you. 59 is comfortable. It's pleasant. When we're at last week, we were at these oppressive values. There is times where uh, the dew points were going off the scale because that's how warm it was. And we're finally getting cooler temperatures and we're getting rid of that soupy, sticky humidity feel. So we're getting the best of both worlds. It's being cool and it's not that humidity sticking around. How cool if we get places like Springfield, 84 degrees. Branson didn't even hit 80 today. The hottest temperature on this whole map is Fayetteville at 88. No one in the Ozarks hit the 90s today. And it's a great change of pace because we're about six degrees cooler right now than when we were yesterday. Yesterday on Saturday, we were 10 degrees cooler than when we were Friday. I don't know if you're like me, I'm loving this cooling trend and it's going to continue for the next couple of days. Looking at watches and warnings right now, there's nothing going on. The, all of last week, we had that excessive heat warning. We're finally getting rid of it. It's a good sign of things to come. And also on satellite radar, there's a few high clouds occurring in our area. Generally, things are staying pretty quiet. Things are staying pretty dry. It's going to stay that way for the majority of this week. But a place where things aren't as quiet is look what Florida is dealing with. Not one, but two tropical storms. The one right here is tropical storm Idalia. And the other one off in the distance is Hurricane Franklin. You can actually see the eye right there on Hurricane Franklin. And when I pull up these paths of the, uh, the, the paths that these tropical storms are going to take, Idalia is actually the one that's going to have impacts on the United States. It's going to travel up the Gulf and kind of impact the panhandle of Florida and go along the East Coast while Franklin is going to divert out of the way rather than impacting the people. But switching gears, going back to the Ozarks temperatures, they're gonna stay in those low 60s for us. Places out east are gonna have some more cloud cover and they'll be closer to those mid, kind of upper 60s temperature wise. And then when we get into tomorrow, guys, these are high temperatures. We're talking highs again in those low 80s. A few high clouds are gonna stick around for tomorrow. And, but this is this cloud cover that places out east are dealing with that's kind of keeping them warm, not letting them cool off so much when we get into night. But as we progress into tomorrow, we're going to have a few high clouds that are going to stick around. But when we get into that late evening, looking at Tuesday, the sun's going to come out to play. It's going to be a nice, lovely day. But I want to talk about the, the rain. What's our rain chances for the next few days? And well, we're going to stay dry. You can see right here the impacts that Idalia will have up on the coast. But for us, we're going to stay dry. We're going to stay sunny for our weather. Taking a look at the full seven day forecast, man, it is going to be nice, Sydney. We're talking mid 80s for the majority of the week. It is going to start to warm up when we get to the weekend, but look at that constant cool weather that's going to be coming our way. That's something we did not see last week. I know this is the second week of school for a lot of school districts. Yes. I know I'm sure a lot of the kids will be happy. It's that a lot better to be out on the playground this week yes. than what it was last week. Yes, last I week was feel like you miserable. couldn't even be out on the playground no. last week. It felt like it was a punishment so rather than a treat, you know, having right? to go out and run in that 100 degree heat. So yeah, this is a double treat. So we'll have <laughs> low humidity, cooler temperatures, and we'll be able to actually enjoy it outside. The so. best of both. Yes. All right. Thanks.